What's going on, Geminites? Gem Mint here with an overview of the Eternals Complete Saga Omnibus, which is pretty much a reprint of the original volume, but it contains more issues. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're so close to our 100,000 subscriber milestone. We have a ton of huge prizes to give away, so make sure that you're subscribed and stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll tell you what the prizes are and what you got to do to enter. Now, if you're looking to purchase Omnibus like this, look no further than CheapGraphicNovels.com. They sell them up to 50% off with immaculate packaging super fast shipping and great customer service plus they have a bargain bin where you can get titles up to 90 percent off if you mention this channel in the memo at checkout for your first order your next order will have free shipping in the united states so check out cheapgraphicnovels.com all right like i said this new edition is basically an excuse to reprint this long out of print book but add more material this first volume contained issues 1 through 19 plus annual one by jack kirby i actually did a review of this two years ago i can't believe it's been two years since i read this and did a review time flies but don't watch the review it's super cringy this volume contains that same run, but a couple of issues from the Eternals within the Marvel Universe, plus volume two from about a decade later by Peter B. Gillis and Sal Buscema. The basic synopsis of Eternals is the Celestials seeded the Earth, creating three distinct races. You have the humans, the Eternals, and the Deviants. The Eternals are superpowered characters that the humans worshipped as gods. The Deviants are the opposite. They're grotesque monsters that the humans feared as demons. The Eternal storyline follows characters like Icarus, Circe, and Makari, who gets mistakenly named Mercury by the humans. Circe eventually joins the Avengers and they tie everything into the Marvel Universe. Taking a look at this book, if you slip off the dust jacket, you'll see it looks almost like an old school style omnibus where it doesn't have a big wraparound cover uh, and it has the Unimind on the back. The dust jacket, we went with the direct market variant, which is uh, Eternals issue 18. The regular cover is a very beautiful Alex Ross cover. The dust jacket on the back has all the issues that it collects. And then the inside, of course, has a biography from the creative team and a little bit about the Eternals. Now, this omnibus has a solid, sturdy build with a very hard, curved spine. Once you get it on the table and open it up, you can see that the ribbon of the spine does lift up off of the hardcover, allowing the pages to lay flat and avoid gutter loss. Now, with most older era Marvel omnibus, these pages are not super thin and glossy. They have a little bit of a thicker paper stock, and they sit on kind of a high gloss white paper. Let's go ahead and flip through this book together and check out the artwork for the Eternals. All right, here's a quick overhead shot of the two books. You can see the dust jackets differ. This is issue one and this is issue 18. Let's see how the spines look together. All right, still look nice even though it's the same material. And the differences on the back, this one collects more issues. The same issues one through 19 plus annual one collected in both. But this one also contains Iron Man Annual Issue 6, The Avengers 246 through 248, The Eternals 1 through 12 from the 1985 volume, The Eternals The Herod Factor 1, The New Eternals Apocalypse Now Issue 1, which is more of a modern art style, more of a modern story, and material from What If 23 through 30. Originally, this had a price of $75. This new volume is $125. So the original volume on the left has that really classic Marvel look where it has that black faux leather feel with the silver embossed logos. The newer style, although it's not flashy like some of the modern Omnis, it has the same type of feel. But you can see the differences there. All right, let's take a look at the new version here. So here you have your introduction and what the book collects. Some more credits. Awesome Jack Kirby Celestial pinup. Here's some more credits and your table of contents. So basically, once you get to page 414, that's when you're getting new material that has not been collected before. Here's issue one. And we'll just go through this Jack Kirby stuff a little bit here, just so we can see some of the artwork, which is classic Kirby. So he has Cersei's there. issue 12 it does have the letters pages as well which i think is a nice touch 
And then once we end the Kirby run, we get a little follow-up by Peter B. Gillis, who took over with Volume 2. But before we get there, this is an Untold Tales of the Marvel Universe, which is basically tying in the Celestial Origin with the Marvel Comics Universe Origin, and kind of just making everything fit. So here's the Celestials taking apes and creating deviants. And they showed, uh, they showed them creating Eternals as well. And humans. So there, there was some what if stuff. Here's the Iron Man annual. Cersei's ends up joining the, uh, the Avengers. So that's where we get those kind of uh, Avengers tie-in issues. And then here's the Volume 2 stuff. It has a similar kind of art style. It looks like he really wanted to uh, pay homage to Jack Kirby in the original run. Like he says in that kind of foreword that he had, you know, very big shoes to fill, obviously. Now, not to spend too much time on this, uh, I'll show you guys. Uh, well, here's, like I said, the, uh, the Apocalypse story, which has more modern art. This looks like it's got to be 90s material. Here goes Apocalypse. I think I saw him get punched in the face here by Icarus. They took a really good portion out of the uh, official handbook of the Marvel Universe to give you an idea of who all the characters are. They even name all the Celestials, which I thought was really cool. Here's the Deviants and the Eternals. And then it breaks down all the characters, uh, their biographies, their stats and everything. Icarus, Carcass, Makari, who's Mercury, Crow, Mentor, Cersei. And Mentor is the what brother of Thanos, right? Star Fox here, the planet or the moon Titan. So this is really good to have in the back of the book. If you really want to know the in, the in detail information about the Eternals. So I think it was cool they included that. In the back, we have some house ads. We have the character design by Jack Kirby himself with some original art sketches. Some original covers. Got an afterward here. And here's the other cover, which looks really good, man, by Alex Ross. It was hard not to pick that one, but I had to stick with the classics. All right, guys, that's the overview for the new Eternals Omnibus. You know, it's funny. When I was doing this first review, I was mentioning how the Eternals movie was a rumor. Well, now we know it's here, so what better time for Marvel to print one of these books and give us some more backstory and history on the Eternals. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below, and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because we're almost at our 100,000 subscriber milestone, and we have a ton of giveaways that we're going to do. We have three sealed omnibus that were sent to us by Marvel, the Ven Omnibus, the Captain America by Ed Brubaker Volume 1, and the Marvel Horror Lives Again. Plus, we have a gift card from CheapGraphicNovels.com. Also, if you're into statues, we have a quarter-scale Joker Orochi by XM Studios, a one-third scale Rambo from PCS Collectibles, a one-sixth scale diorama of Thor Ragnarok from Figurama. We have a life-size nano gauntlet from Hot Toys that was sent to us by Sideshow Collectibles. And we have the entire DC Comics line from the Prime One Studio Cutie One line. All you got to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment down below to be entered into the giveaway. And we'll do the drawing live once we hit 100,000 subscribers. Don't go anywhere. Check out my other omnibus reviews and hauls in the playlist to the right. And stay minty fresh. Peace.